in two days, according to the Philippines, get ready to start the four months of Christmas. <laughs> and in two more days, it'll be 22 days, and then we leave this rock called Vancouver Island and head for the 7,000 rocks called the Philippine Islands. Okay, let's get into a little ramble of this and that, and 100 other things. So what I want to touch on today is go versus go to the Philippines. Yes, there are two versions of go. And the other thing I'm going to slide into all of that is maybe a little clearer definition of what I mean by thresholds and the currencies and why you need to save. So let's get into that part right away because it feeds nicely into the go versus go. What I mean by that is the currencies all have a natural flat line to them. And the averaging, yes, say for the US will come out to be 50, roughly. And for the Canadian, 40, and so on. Uh, the Euro 57, pound 30, or 66, or yeah, 66, and the Australian I think is 37, and the New Zealand I think is 34. But it's in those ballparks, okay? But the reason that I say that that threshold in so many videos is so important is because your pension is static. When you get to the Philippines or if you're living in your native country, your expenses are pretty much static. The major thing that's changing is those currency rates. So if you want to do what a lot of loggers talk about, and bloggers and influencers who are trying to suggest that you go to the Philippines and that look at all the money you can make and all that sort of thing. And that's why we keep driving home, think in pesos. You have to think in pesos. The main reason for all this is if you want that currency rate to be at its threshold or at his medium, 50 for the US and 40 for Canadian, then you better save when it's above. You better capitalize when it's above and put it in the bank. <laughs> you need it for the rainy day, okay? When I went back and just looked at some of the longer term vloggers in the Philippines, you know how much blah, 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 there was when the currency rates were sitting down at 45, 47, 40 for the US. Common things like, will it ever recover? Will it ever recover? You know, flip that over and talk to yourself about what's happening right now. It's going to go down is what I keep saying. So many of the vloggers are saying, is it going to hit 60 for the US? Who cares? Because you're saving it. <laughs> now, if you've got extra money, yeah, send the darn money. Okay, I keep saying that. Send it while you can capitalize on it. Um, Lynn and I are having the great debate right now as to whether we uh, take the money that we would normally carry in Canadian dollars and whether we would exchange that now to pesos immediately. And with Canada sitting at 43, <laughs> Lynn always gets into this. Oh, might go to 43.5, Ken. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so let me talk to you quickly about Filipinos and exchange rates. Now, I will admit, my wife is not your prototypical Filipino. She likes to earn, as she says. She doesn't make money. She likes to earn. But when we go down to send money or if we're down to buy groceries at the Filipino Mart, where she also does exchange, Lynn will be talking to people saying, why are you sending money now? It's 39. 
You got to wait for it to be good. Oh, no, no, my, my family needs money. How often do they bitch when it's less? All the time. <laughs> Send only when it's high. Now, most of us as Westerners would start, start griping and saying, oh, look at the silly Filipinos. Look, they're not managing their money. Uh, we have to look in the mirror too. A lot of people, the, most of this message, of course, guys, is for those who haven't saved money, they're going to have a limited pension, which is a good chunk of people in Western countries now that need to move to another country because they want to continue to maintain a current, current or a, a standard of living. Okay. It'll be a different standard of living, but they can at least do it. So what do I mean by go versus go? Well, if you've never been, go, just go. Doesn't matter where the exchange rates are. If you can afford to fly there, spend three weeks, bang around, try and meet a few expats, maybe go to the higher uh, expat locations. Um, you know, do your research time. If you've got extra money, just go. Now, if you're ready to go and you've been there a few times, get your house in order. These vlogs by Paul Old Dog New Tricks, I'll tell you, <laughs> that, that interview with Diane, oh my goodness. Very clear that they had done a number of fundamental things wrong. And uh, why you need to have heavy levels of communication uh, if you've met someone and you know, it's time to maybe relocate off of your Western level budget because now it's time to start living local. And uh, yeah, you got to go watch that video. The one in particular with Diane, it's, it's, it's really, really, really good. And it will share a lot with you that, that when you think you're doing okay, you might not be doing so, so good. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. I'm not going to be able to get it on film, guys, but this, this heron is flying by here. Maybe it'll get caught in frame. Don't think so. Um, huge wingspan on that thing. But I still think that if you mentally feel that you need to go, and that's a whole other video, but if your head's not in the right space, don't go. If you're still stressing over politics, don't go. I'm serious. You got to let it go. Because it won't matter what country you're living in. If you're going to stress over a country you've decided to leave, I don't get it. And I know a lot of you do it. Because I did it. <laughs> but don't buy into the stress, guys. We're all getting to that stage. Leave it to the next generation. I'm not kidding you. Just leave it to the next generation. They do not see things the same, that way, same way that we do. Got those rented lips again. Okay, go versus no go, save above those thresholds. And again, I'm gonna drive it home. Pension is boop, static. Your cost of living wherever you are or in the Philippines is pretty much gonna be boop. The one thing that's gonna go is the currency rates. And that's how I'm trying to guide on Financial Fridays. Guide you guys through this so that you'll take control. Don't enjoy it. Take control so that you can enjoy it. Okay, guys, we're out of here. Later, Gators.